my dear friend. First of all, a very good morning to all of you. This is Amrita in front of you. Today, I am going to master the concept on the topic of carnivorous plants. Do you listen about the plant Rafflesia arnoldi, the biggest parasitic plant in the world, which has a flower-like structure and maroon in color. But it doesn't look like a plant because we know plants are green due to chlorophyll. But do plants really need chlorophyll to survive? Today we are going to understand that things. Those plants which can prepare their own food with the help of sunlight, chlorophyll and water. Those plants are considered as autotrophic plants. But plants like Rafflesia cannot prepare their own food because they grow in that area which has lack of sunlight and they have not chlorophyll to do the process of photosynthesis. Those plants can be considered as hygienotrophic plants. There are four types of hygienotrophic plants. First is saprophytic. Those plants which have lack of chlorophyll and cannot prepare their own food. Those plants are considered as saprophytic. Like Indian pipe. Indian pipe is a plant which has lack of chlorophyll. And the next one is insectivorous plants. Those plants which are growing in that area which have no sunlight and which type of soil which have lack of mineral. That's why they eat insects as their mineral tablets. Like Venus flytrap. Venus flytrap also not have chlorophyll and it is grow in this type of soil which have lack of minerals. And the next one is symbiotic. Symbiotic plants cannot live survive cannot survive lonely because they need a partner to survive. They have enough chlorophyll. But yet they don't live without a partner. That's why they search for another plant like lichen. Lichen is a plant in which alga and fungus live together on another plant. This type of plants can be considered as symbiotic. Last but not least, parasitic plant, Rafflesia. Rafflesia is a plant which have lack of chlorophyll and a flower like structure. It doesn't look like that but it is a plant. It grows on another tree. A, a special type of vine, Indian chestnut vine. It start like grow a tissue but grow bigger and bigger and bigger. And it have it have its own nutrition from its host. But let me tell you something honestly. It is quite thinless. It haven't anything in an, it haven't anything to return for the host. That's why they are considered as parasitic plant. Before I leave, I have a question for you. Rafflesia anoldi has an extremely rotten smell, but it has it to prepare its food but how i love to hear i love to hear your answer in comment section below and meanwhile don't forget to subscribe